here to say that I've uh, done a pretty pretty cool proof of concept. So what I have here is an original uh, Thorns TP60 head shell. It's missing the, uh, I've got the uh, aluminum plate that goes on the top. But I've pulled it off this uh, Thorns TD165 that I'm rebuilding. And uh, before I was able to source another uh, head shell, um, I looked into um, building one. I just got a, uh, a 3D printer for uh, Black Friday, just before Christmas, and I got an inexpensive one. It was 199 bucks. So I thought I would uh, fashion a, a head shell. And what you see here um, is my first proof of concept. And what I did was um, I got some copper um, wire and basically uh, printed this thing off with the, uh, the same bayonet mount that goes on to the, uh, the TD-11 and uh, or TP-11 and TP-16 um, arms and I think it fits on the 166 uh, turntable 165 160 series very rare head shell you can't find them anywhere and if you do find them they're 150 bucks minimum to uh, order them from overseas or or somewhere in North America um, they're extremely rare so that's driven the price way up for uh, a little hunk of metal well what I did was I made this thing uh, on uh, Tinkercad which is a online CAD program that's free and you see here this one does not have the uh, the arm um, that uh, you know the finger arm basically for lifting it and uh, so I built a couple of different versions one uh, this is a newer version that uh, I still have to paint up it's a little bit shiny after coming off of the uh, the printer and I have one actually still on the printer over here and this one is actually a little bit better of a refinement that you can see I've still got it on the platter there that, I, that I've got to lift off and here's different options that I've made one has uh, if you can get that little bullet thing uh, that I've seen for sale on uh, eBay and whatnot you can actually get one of those silver bullet things and fit it in that hole and mount it like a regular cartridge and then uh, I'm making a top plate as well that'll be silver with the Thorns logo on it. And uh, here's another one without the uh, the arm. If you can get the silver arm and then or want to manufacture one to uh, be a little bit closer to the uh, the real thing, it actually is the exact same dimensions as the uh, as the real uh, tone or head shell. And uh, I wanted to see would this actually work on a turntable. And lo and behold, here's the actual, you can see the silver bullet thing that I'm holding it by. And you can see all of the uh, the gizzets and the silver uh, finger arm uh, lifter, or whatever you want to call it. And here's, here it is without. Um, as I said, this was my first, uh, first, first print job, so I've uh, bored this one out and put um, basically copper instead of uh, these... Uh, I don't know if it's silver or no, it's not silver. It's probably stainless steel or whatever uh, pins that are on here, and they actually fit. So what I'll do is I'll play it, and then I'll take it off, and then you can actually see what it looks like. So quick play, so I don't have uh, I don't hit any. And there you go. It's playing on both channels, so I've got everything working. Perfect. balanced up and everything works very well so there you have it proof of concept it works so I'm going to stop this and I don't have a pause option so what I'll do is I'll pop this off and you can actually see how I've um, Used uh, I used a drill basically to uh, sink in the holes there, and then I glued in these copper pins that are in the same configuration as the head shell itself, 
the original head shell and it fits in the bayonet mount just perfectly. The only thing I don't have is a pin on the top. So basically you're just pressure fitting it and uh, it actually seats in there quite tightly so you don't really have to crank on the, the little knurled thing here in order to, uh, to get it to seat properly. It's not loose, it's nice and snug and it plays absolutely perfectly. I haven't done a weight differential but uh, probably they're, they're actually very um, similar in weight. Um, this one's probably a little bit heavier so you could just use blue tack or something like that on here inside the, uh, the screw mounts which is recessed so that you can actually put the plate on top and uh, if you were looking at this on a turntable once, uh, once it's uh, completed um, I doubt you'd see a difference so or you'd notice notice a difference so anyway um, it's an option and I'm going to put this thing up on uh, Thingiverse, I think, uh, for people to uh, check out and uh, basically maybe stem the tide of the high prices that uh, people are charging for these uh, stupid little head shells. So, thank you for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave a, leave a message or PM me and uh, I'll get back to you. Thank you.